Hey YouTube, FS Physique is here. I'm coming to you today with what I hope will be a quick video on something you may not be able to find elsewhere on the internet. Uh, this video has to do with my Beretta Nano, and if you've been following me, you know that I'm having some difficulties with the Nano. One of the things that I've done to try and remedy those problems is to replace my extractor and the extractor spring. Doing so was a little bit more of a challenge than most of my gun projects because I couldn't find anywhere on the internet where someone had a video showing how to remove the back plate from the nano slide. I did eventually find a, a verbal description, a very brief verbal description of how to do that on a forum somewhere. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to remove the back plate on the nano slide in case you need to do any work on the extractor or any of the other components that are in the slide, you know, the, the striker uh, assembly or anything like that. So let's get started. Let's make the gun safe. Actually, with the Nano, since it locks back on an empty mag, let's do that. You can see that there's nothing in the chamber, nothing in the mag, and we'll drop that. Now, we're going to go ahead. I usually just pull the trigger because I know I've safety checked the firearm. But we'll use the, hmm, is it a decocker? Well, it's not a dehammerer, so it wouldn't be a de striker. I guess we'll just call it the striker deactivator. Deactivator, I don't know why I um, accented that the way I did. Okay, so you push this until you hear it click, and the striker is released without firing the, the gun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the takedown pin, as I always say, or the disassembly pin, as Beretta calls it. This is not the ideal screwdriver to use, um, but it will work. Okay, and it's not actually a full quarter turn, just so you know. It's almost. And if you turn past this and you try and reassemble it, it doesn't go back into position. So you really want something that's like maybe at 10 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock. Not that that's relevant for what we're doing here, but point of information. So I'll put aside the frame, the recoil spring and the barrel. Okay, so we're just left with the slide. And what we need to do here is we need to disengage the striker assembly and the extractor pin from the back plate. And you can see the back plate's actually fairly thick. It's a fairly thick chunk of metal. Um, so here's how I get the striker out of the way. I take a very small screwdriver, or you could take any kind of thin metal shim, and I really just dig around in here. Oh, actually, let me show you the, the one thing I do to make it easier. Right here is the, I guess you would call it the firing pin or the striker block. Okay, I press that down. Pressing that down allows you to pull the striker assembly forward and it releases some tension on this spring. And, I mean, with my hand, I can do it one-handed. So we get in there and press down with the thumb and pull down, and that releases the tension on the spring. Makes it a lot easier to get in here. I'm prying this spring away from the back plate and up out of the way. And I'm going to leave it like this, okay, while I work on the extractor pin. Another reason that I recorded this video over is I kept confusing the terms extractor and ejector. So... The extractor pin is the more challenging thing, and I, I'm hoping that the camera will focus in. Sorry, I just hit the can hit the tripod. Hoping that the camera will focus in on this. What we have is you can see the curve of the back plate. There's a little flat area in here. That's actually part of the back plate. So if you're trying to push on this, because you need to push in on the pin, if you push close to the plate nothing happens. I thought my extractor pin was goobered up. I was going to soak it in ballast all, you know, whatnot. And then I realized that the extractor pin is accessed way out here, way near the side of the slide, okay, the outside edge, okay. Uh, and discovering that led me to an interesting, another interesting tidbit. Uh, I have these two punches. They are both they both indicate that they are 1 16th punches. Okay. The yellow one is a Stanley pin punch. The silver one or the metal one is a Grace 
USA roll pin punch that has the little nib on it, you know, for uh, starting roll pins. Primarily used for, for AR-15 building, but, you know, good, good punch to have. Um, and interestingly enough, they are not the same diameter. For instance, with the Stanley punch, I cannot get past the edge of the back plate for the slide here to press down on the extractor pin. Yeah, this punch, which also is supposedly 1 16th of an inch, does bypass that and will press down on the extractor pin. Okay, so back to the disassembly. Once we've got the striker spring out of the way, I'm going to set this down, I'm going to push down on this, and you will feel the spring compress and the pin go down. And then you just, what you do is you want to press this way with your thumb. These little ridges that are cast in give you some traction. Okay. And you want to do both kind of at the same time. You press down on the extractor pin. And at the same time you push. Okay. Downward or away from the top of the slide. And hopefully we'll focus in on this and you can see how that opens up. And in here is the extractor pin. I'm not going to disassemble any further than this because I've already replaced my extractor. But I just wanted to get this information out to you in case you need to do any work on your nano slide and you're not sure how to disassemble it. Okay. Now, just take a look at that for a minute so you can see that the back plate is sliding out. Okay. Now I'm just going to press this back in. Okay. You hear it snap in place. And we remove whatever you've used to hold the striker spring away. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So reassembly, you finish working on whatever you're doing in here in the slide. And then uh, you do need, like I said, you do need to hold that spring back. You know, and you'll start the, the back plate in. You'll get it to a point where this spring will engage. You can let go of that. And then you'll need to push down on the ejector, extractor pin. See, I did it again. Extractor pin enough to get this started past it. And once the lip of it gets over the top of the pin, of course, you can pull your punch out and just shove it closed. But anyway, that's it. I couldn't find anyone else who had a video on how to take down uh, you know, how to disassemble the slide so you could get to these components. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful if you are someone who needs to be doing work on your nano slide. Um, that's it. Thanks for looking in on me.